Ooh, that looks nice. That's gonna be a good one, Lando. I took a picture of you. Took a picture of me. Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome to beautiful Tampa Bay. It is Saturday, and uh, Lando and I are starting a new series, and we're calling it. Dun, 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 dun. Hold your arm out there longer. Da, 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 da. That's right. So, good name. I like it. You like it? Yeah, I like it. All right. So, the idea of this series is to go out and take photos, not have a competition, but just show you uh, different aspects and different uh, perspectives of taking photos. So, every episode, we're going to have different themes and uh, we might have different camera and equipment. This week, we're using our iPhone 7 Plus to keep it nice and easy for you guys so you guys can go out and uh, do the same stuff we are. But the theme for this week is going to be urban urban <laughs> so urban meaning uh industrial uh bricks parking garages you know not nature so concrete so we're gonna find urban situations and we're gonna take photos using urban backgrounds so in order to not make it repetitive and to keep it fresh we're gonna do something a little different uh, instead of us both taking the same shot at a urban spot we're gonna ride around and we're gonna take turns so he's gonna go first so if he sees something urban that he wants to take a picture of, he stops, takes his picture, and then it's my turn, and then so on, so on. At the end, we're gonna have so many shots, we're gonna show you how we did it, and uh, could be a good little series. Where do you wanna go, up and? Yeah, up and in. Up and in, all right. So Lando's up first, he's uh, starting off with a park, well, that's a bump there. Yeah, that's a bump there. <laughs> so he's starting in a parking garage, but um, what I want you guys to do before we even take the first picture is I want you guys to vote in the comments below, so what do you want our next theme to be the one with the most uh, thumbs up that's what we'll do for the next episode so leave a comment down below uh whatever has the most thumbs up by the time we roll into the next one that's what we'll roll with all right lando what you got cooking we go I like this right here right here step mine long ways okay try to use that as a background i'm gonna see if i can use the depth of field oh so see if I can. so the iphone 7 plus has the portrait mode which is depth of field so we'll create like an artificial uh background blur to it so um yeah Cool. All right, man. Do your thing. See if I can fit her in here. Fit her in. Slide her in. Hey, there's a camera right there. Where's the camera? <laughs> right in front of your face. <laughs> Look forward. Oh shit! Sweet dog. <laughs> hey, what's up? I can't be doing too many wheelers. I haven't done the uh, the oil mod yet. I can do one or two. One or two is not gonna hurt it. You just gotta get low so the camera can't see you. You can see me. What's up, brother? I would have taken the picture right here. Huh? I was talking to talking to them, not you. Carry on, get your picture. So this isn't a competition. So again, it's just uh, to show you uh, different perspectives and uh, different mentality of taking photos. So let me address this real quick. My mask being down will create this echo effect. If I put my mask up, it sounds a lot better. But while we're moving, it doesn't. So apologies for that. But now you can hear Lando. It's it's a give and take, guys. So let's kick it back and watch Lando do his thing. Getting low. So again, the uh, rules of this uh, series is to not piggyback off each other's shots. So I'm not going to take any photos here. As soon as Lando's done with his shot, I'll put it up on the screen and we'll head out and uh, I'll look for my own uh, urban backdrop. Ooh, how about that? Once you set up the bike, you have to take the shot. All right, yeah. Once the bike's parked. So you can't be like, oh shit, it looks better over there. Yeah. Now you're done fucked up now. You're, you're done fucked up. I like it. I think as soon as you take your first picture, you're, you're locked in. You can only go as far as your, your body can move you. I like it. I got bored. So whenever we take photos on our iPhones, we're going to be using Adobe Lightroom Mobile. So if you guys want to pick it up, it's in the App Store. I think it's free. And then if you have the cloud, you can enable different features maybe. So we're going to keep it consistent, use the same editing programs, and uh, show you the different shots. Ooh, he's having a hard time over there. Wait, wait. Why are you moving the bike? I'm trying to... Oh. I'm not even moving distances, the background's the same. Alright, you get you get uh two feet, two feet margin. That's what it'll be, two feet margin. Yeah, because like I'm just trying no. to move it and I get the best angle here. Two feet. The rules are establishing. Where you go? Go ahead. So you get so you get two feet. I think I got it. While you're getting ready, I'm just gonna maybe See I gotta put it down pretty quick, otherwise I run into the bad words for DMX and then I might get flagged. <laughs> it's not for lack of skill. All right, guys, we got Lando's shot. Put it up right here. Bing. We're going to go ahead and head out and see what else we can find. Whee. I love parking garages. You messed up, man. This would have been a good reflection right here, this puddle. Too small. Ah, you could have got It's a Grom. Here's a bigger one over here. Uh-huh. Done messed up. Look at those clouds reflecting. Woo. I'm good. Yeah, I'm just, just getting in your head a little bit. It's fine, dude. 
dude. You haven't even picked one yet. That's right. Oh, look at this little bump. Whee. All right, guys. Now it's my turn to find my urban uh, shot. And I got some. Look at this. I got. Is this even open? That's closed. But the sun's coming. The sun's pretty, pretty bright right now. What time is it? 3:35. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna skip. That's some nice bricks, but I don't like the doors there. So I'm gonna skip that guy. Ooh. Let's stop in here. Let's see what this looks like. I'll take the long way around. Take the scenic route. So I got some shadows in there, which I don't really like, but I can put it right on. Ooh, look at this with the sign. Oh, I might be able to do something here. You look like the urban photogrammer. I am the urban photogrammer. So what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna use my props. Oh, oh what do we got here? Ah, oh, two Come on, pop it up. <laughs> So there's a big neon sign here. So what I'm gonna do is just use this little guy. Just kind of break that up. So I'm gonna go for, I think a straight on shot, try to get the lanterns, all that and frame it. So I do have some light coming in through there, which I don't like, but I think I can still make it work. So it's all about framing. But what you have is this thing in the sun, this thing not in the sun. So it kind of creates a shitty uh, light situation. This would be better if it was even light, but I picked it, I parked it. I can only move it two feet now, so. I'm stuck with it. You know what? I'm gonna go up. Ooh, this actually doesn't look bad really wide either. All right, guys, so here's my urban barber shop. Boom, that's my favorite. I like it. Let me know what you guys think. All right, Lando, you're up. Whee! Oh, yeah? Hello. Ooh, the super save. Oh, man, this guy's taking a puddle from the super save. All right, let me know when you want me. I don't know where I want to be. I've never taken angle shots like this in the water. You uh -huh. just got me inspired. So. I have not let out the clutch. I have not turned off the bike. I'm once once you out. once you dismount, that's the two foot rule. So I want to ask you questions, but I don't know. I don't know the rules. I'm making them up. No, no, but I mean, shooting water is it better to be right next to the water or back and angle it towards it? I don't that's know. That's my question. What I, I what before. I what I would do? Yeah. And this is the only tip I give you. I do a lap around it and see where the reflection is based on yeah. where you want your shot. I noticed when I we pulled in from over there, I could see the top of the coin laundry. Yeah. Yeah, so when you're taking photos of uh, of water and reflection, it all depends where the reflection is. So right now I can see Lando from here. So you get, you know, how much of the bike you get in there. Obviously you can move forward and back, but then you affect the background as well. He's got to pick it and stick with it. What's he going to do? The suspense. I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to go in this shade right here. Okay. this mountain kick stand down and he's off all right i'll get out of the way good luck sir so one foot forward one foot back or two feet in either direction let's see what he can come up with let's let's go for a little cruise it's too hot to be standing here Ooh, that looks nice that's gonna be a good one lando i might use this next all right i got my second one lined up let's head back and find lando but first all right, so here's Lando's second shot. Explain your thought on this process. Kind of what you said. You, you mentioned some water in the bike garage. I've always wanted to give it a try, especially with the iPhone. So I found a big enough one. The other one was small. Mm -hmm. um, have the light coming down, shine off the side of the bike into the water. Nice. Did you use portrait mode or just regular? Yeah, I did. And it worked pretty good with the, the blue in the background. Okay, nice. All right, guys. Up, I'm, I'm up. So two for Lando, one for me. I already got my next one picked out because... While you're doing that, I was prospecting. Let's go see this shit. We got a small drive to the right. We're gonna go right. We're just gonna do this this school right here. Yeah. I think it's closed, but I'm not too sure. All I know is I want to use this, but I don't know how yet. I'm gonna use the shadow for this time since I want even light. Last time I didn't have even light, so this time I want to control my light 100%. I think I'm gonna go somewhere around here. Yeah, you can you can check yours off. You're you're probably Hopefully, fine there. It's off. All right, I think I'm gonna. Ooh, I don't want to dismount. Don't dismount. You can roll it now. You can't start it back up. What? Oh, would you cut it? You can't start it. I mean. Okay. Okay. No, I like it. Like you cut you cut it for a reason, right? Okay, but I can still roll it wherever I want until I dismount. Right. If you want to roll for a mile, roll for a mile, homie. I like it. Do whatever you want. All right, these rules are starting to. These rules are starting to work themselves out, but um. Once you get to a spot and you shut it off, you, you must be close. It says butt. <laughs> this has got to be an elementary school. You better uh, uh, censor that. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll put, I'll put censored. <laughs> <laughs> you 
on YouTube getting all mad at you for having a button there. What's it say? <laughs> <laughs> like, look what these kids are writing and just censor it out so no one can see. Yeah. And people will wonder what that was there. That was so graphic <laughs> that you had to censor it. Oh, man. I don't know if I'm going to like this. I'm, all right. I'm going to go. I, got two I, feet. I don't know what you're shooting, man. Unless, unless you're trying to go in between the, the bars here and go wide. Do we need? Do you need to start back up? No, no. Okay. So I'm going to tell you my idea, but don't give me any feedback on it. My idea was to have the bike and then frame it so one of these bars is the end of my frame, so almost angled, so this is all backdrop, so it's almost like a three-quarter. And then that's just, it's just pillared, 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 leading away. But <laughs> until I get off, I can't really see how the bike needs to be. And two, two. When you park at your spot, you have two feet. The yeah. two feet includes a left and right shift. I you think, I, I, think I, I should leave more space and less space. So I think I should take one more. All right, no, yeah, two feet. No, it's two feet and one feet forward or two feet forward or one feet forward and back. So two feet total. Oh, two feet total. So once you go two feet forward, you're done. You're done. Or you go one foot forward, one foot back, two feet back. Okay. All right, I'm gonna park it here with my butt, with my censored word. <laughs> all right, this isn't as bad as I thought it'd be. Okay, I think I can make this work. All right, I think it's got to All right, let me see where we're at, guys. Like that. Okay, here we go. All right, so I'm looking at my framing, guys. So up there, I got sky. I don't think I want sky. I might. It actually, doesn't look that bad. It's all blue. So let's see. Doing a lot of low angle shots. Right. Move a little bit closer. Okay, here's first shot. All right, now I'm gonna do one portrait mode and then one side shot, I think. Ooh, maybe use this little, little fucking weed as, as foreground. <laughs> All right, guys, so that's my second shot. Here's the picture, the end result, edited in Lightroom Mobile again. This guy is flashers on, don't know what's happening with his car. You put diesel in that or what? <laughs> so we agreed that we're going to do three total shots each. You got your spot. Next episode, we're going to do whatever you guys suggest for a theme, so leave it in the comment below. Oh, this is cool. Leave it in the comment below, and uh, most thumbs up we'll get. Uh, the next theme. We'll make our next theme. Ooh, look at him. He's going in the grass. Okay, let's see what he's got cooking. Okay, I'm going off just my knowledge of taking pictures. Mm hmm. Just trying to line it up. Are you doing a peekaboo? I'm, I'm going to figure out something. I'm turning her off. She's off. She's off, so now we can only push it. Thinking. He's thinking. Lean it. No. See what, I'm, what my idea is here. Uh huh. I'm listening. Go ahead. The bike does not sit straight up. It leans. So I'm thinking if I need to lean it against the pole. Uh huh. He's getting off, people, and he is still on it. I don't know because my idea is here is to back it up against his pole and hold it straight up and down. I don't think it's gonna hold it. Then you can only move two feet forward. That'd be fine. Let me give it a try. And he is dismounted. All right. So he's got two feet to move it forward, and that's it. Oh, he's going no kickstand. I understand now. So he's going no kickstand. Forgot to take his phone off first. That could be. That could cost him the win. That, that could cost me the weight. Is it to the left? <laughs> if it falls over, I'm hoping you're going to catch it, right? <laughs> Throwing rocks at it. All right. So he's going for a head-on shot, and he has free range to go anywhere he wants. He just can't move the bike more than two feet now, because obviously he can't go any further back. So he's got two feet forward. He can play with. One feet in either direction. Um, one thing to note, he's completely in the shade. So the pillars, everything's in the shade. You can see that last pillar is cut in half. So if you were to use that, that would be pretty distracting. <laughs> oh, horn. <laughs> Which one's cut in half? Uh, you can't see from this side. You can see half half the sun's hitting it. One thing also to note is uh, if you guys ever take photos where you're just standing, that's that's 90% of the time is going to be wrong because the eye always sees at eye level. So if you're taking photos at eye level, that's not going to be anything unique. It's gonna be something that everybody sees because they walk around with their eyes every day. So get a little low, get a little high, do something different so it creates a different perspective that you don't necessarily see. You mean to move? No, I think I'm gonna shoot that way anyways. Okay. Oh, this is money. That's it? All right, while you're doing, while you're doing that, I gotta do my things. What about wheel, wheeling in the dirt? Anything bad go there? Oh, God. <laughs> yep, definitely broke loose. <laughs> oh, that's funny. I was expecting it to come up. It just, uh, it just went over. 
Oh, it feels so much better in the shade though. Yeah, I got my shot. You got it. All right. Understand I got that up there. Mm -hmm. That's a good look. And then you got more leading lines. And then it's it's on kickstand side, but there ain't no kickstand. Still smooth. Wait, where's the kickstand at, homie? I don't see it. Yeah. So as long as you're, so the reason you don't want to put it on kickstand side and put it down, it leans, like it leans so you get less of the bike. So if you hit it up against this wall here, which I just kind of wedged the tire up against it, holds itself up. Boom. Straight up and down. Bada bing, bada boom. That's it. Tip of the week. Tip of the week. Just a tip. Just, just the tip this week, though. <laughs> All right. So let's put up his final image right here. Bing. All right, guys. Nice. What? I was going to say, like, with your PG Live stuff, when they turn that in, like, you see, we're like, we like taking pictures. It took us 20 pictures almost, average, to get one of these that we like. All right. So don't be just taking one and be like, oh, that's it. Yeah. Move. Move. Then, because you can always delete it. Yeah. Move around. Yeah. You know, move the bike. Move your, you know, go higher, go lower, go a little to the left, a little to the right. Yeah, because you never know, really, until you take the picture and look at it. You never know what it's going to come out and look like. And people always ask, like, what's the best camera for, you know, someone getting into photography? For, for me, not even just a camera. Camera is whatever. I mean, you know, a camera is a camera. I say glass. So I like prime glass because it makes you think different. So if you don't have the ability, the versatility of zooming in and out, you have a fixed lens, like a 50 millimeter, yeah. then you got to move your ass to find the shot. Exactly what the iPhone is. So if you don't dick around with it zooming in, yep. you got to move your body. You got to move, find it. All right, buddy. Good shot. Good. All right, let's go find my last shot. But first, that was not good. Alright guys, let's go find my last shot, but first... <laughs> Damn. You wanna go back down the road? No. <laughs> now it's just becoming fake news. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna roll with that. That's where my wheelies are right now, guys. But let us know what you guys think about this series. Uh, you know, we, we're anxious to hear if you wanna see more iPhone pictures or more professional cameras, because we both have professional cameras that we can lug around as well and create better image quality obviously different zoom factors um, so let us know if you're okay with the iphones if you'd like to see more of the iphones or if you'd like to see more of the professional stuff let's do that all right so we'll have two different votes so uh, let's do dslr versus iphone so the most thumbs up on uh, whichever one of those that uh, somebody comments on and then the next uh, vote will be on the theme so the most uh, votes on a theme we will uh, hit that for the next episode let's see what that'll look like with it I mean, I like the colors in the background. It's kind of, I think I'm gonna skip it. If it was all blue, I would use that. Like if it's a solid color and then you have the bike there, it would break it up nice. But because it's um, all this different shit on there, I mean, it'll be a lot of, it'll be a busy background. Ooh, look at this. That's hella urban. Yeah, that's very urban. All right, I, I fuck, I might have, I don't know if I want to do this. Did you shut off? No, I didn't. If that car wasn't there, I can see what the shot really looked like, but because it's not, I, I want to shoot this way because the sun's there, but then I got a lot of stuff in the background. All right, I'm going to try. I'm not going to, I'm not going to sign up for that one yet. I'm going to do one lap. There's no time limit here, guys. When we're looking for pictures like this, don't settle. If yeah. you feel like you need to move, move. So I think that's one good thing about that rule. You, it allows you not to settle for a shot because you know you don't have a second chance to get it. You gotta uh, find that shot and take it. Oh wow, look at all this shit. Is this like where the hipsters yeah, go? I guess, man. This is very, Holy. this is very hips out. Hips out? Hip down, hippie. Hip, hippie. Hip, hippie. Hip, 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 but I think I might, if I can frame it so I'm blocking that car back there, I think it will work. All right, I'm going this way. Something totally different. This could be, this could be not a good choice, but we'll see. All right, guys, kickstands down. I'm off. I'm rolling with it. All right, let's see what I can get with this guy. Oh, this isn't exactly what I thought it would be. All right, guys. So that's my last shot. Here it is, right here. Ding. Ding. Let me <laughs> let me know what you guys think, and let us know what you think about this series. Uh, that's it. Three for three. Good job, Lando. Three for three. 
So everybody leave a comment down below. Let us know what we're doing next episode and if we're using our iPhones or DSLRs. All right, guys, so uh, we're going to wrap up this video, but uh, something new. Hopefully you guys like the addition to the channel. If you do, make sure you give it a like down below. If you haven't done so already, you want to subscribe, hit that subscribe link. And Lando, are you ready? I'm always ready. I'll see you in the next one. Nice. Oh, man. Got high up. <laughs> Connected.